Rusty and Darren's Mailbag. Hi everyone. Hi. Yeah, and welcome back. We're we're back for the summer and we were really happy to get all this mail and presents and stuff. Thank you very much. So we decided to have a mailbag. Yeah. So let's get started. Okay, let's get going here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a really nice card here from let's see who it's from. Oh, it's from Gabriel. Oh. He writes, Dear Rusty. Thank you so much coming back. We love you so much. You were so funny. Uh, what? How are the dogs doing? They are such good actors. Uh, so, yeah, please let us know how they're all doing. Well, thanks for asking there, Gabriel. So, the the dogs are okay. They're doing really great. Um, in fact, but we should tell, let you know and let others know that we lost Fritz last year. He passed away. Uh, it was really sad. Yeah, it was a sad day, but we were really happy that we had all that time with Fritz. We had 17 years, and that's really good for a dog. And uh, the last five, 10 years, he became really obsessed with apples. We've always had apples on our apple tree, and we had to be careful letting him outside. And it was just, it was almost annoying, actually, it was. And then he passed away, and then this year, for the first time ever, we've never had an apple on our apple tree. We don't have any apples. Isn't that weird? Ooh. All right, let's see. Let's see what other letter we got here. Oh, this one is from, that's a nice card. This one is from Abigail. Oh, she writes, Dear Rusty. And going forward, it's Darren, it is Darren Rusty. Um, we love you so much. I think you are very funny. <laughs> uh, I like to run and play, and then I go outside and play, and then I like to run again. Oh, that's really nice. Dear Rusty, what is the meaning of life? Oh, okay, so that's a that's a bit of a tough question. Uh, Paul kind of touches a, a little bit or indirectly a, a, answers that question in Philippians, and I thought Pastor Nick did a really good job last week. Uh, he was giving his uh, opinion on that as well, too. So uh, why, don't, why don't we share a little 30-second uh, review of the Philippians and see if we can answer that question. Okay. So while Paul was in prison, he wrote a letter to the church and he let them know that hey there's great joy and great contentment in being a christian in life and stop bickering and fighting over things that are unimportant because you have to look at the big picture here like christ forgave us and you have to learn how to forgive others so if we can be like more like christ and live more like christ you'll find great joy in what you're doing and yeah life isn't always easy and you're you will have problems as a christian but you've got to learn and remember that christ fulfills us with more than we could ever have and it, being a Christian means that we have joy knowing that one day we will live with him forever. You're over 30 seconds. Oh, thanks for pointing that out to everyone. Hey, uh, is Fritz going to be in heaven too? Oh boy, that's a, another tough question you guys here. You know what? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can answer that. Like I, I don't feel right putting God in a box saying he should do this or he can do that type of thing. I really don't know. And I, you know what I do know is if I knew 1% of what heaven or hell is like, I'd be up in the roof shouting it out. Oh. So I think that's what Paul was trying to say, that the things that you guys are worrying about are not important at all. And that uh, we've got to become more like Christ and you'll find great joy and contentment in anything that happens to you in life because you know what's going to happen with you at the end. But not this stuff here on earth. It's, it's going to be something very wonderful. So anyway, that's about it. Oh, okay. Well, thanks again. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.